Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you step by step how we can easily use Product Board. Product Board is amazing software and I believe after watching this video you will know exactly how to use it. If you're starting out and if you're new here you will have a link down below in the description. So the first thing that I'm going to do I will click here start a free trial. Here you can sign with the Google. I'm going to use a temporary email and I'm going to register. Okay, now I'm going to verify the email, activate account, and we are going to continue. So, when you're here, first thing first, we need to add a full name, Marcus Tonelius, and password. Phone number, I'm not going to give it. You can also unclick the sure send me insight for product news. And here we go, company name. And this is the workspace URL that I'm going to have. You will have your own here and you can edit that too. Continue. Now, the next thing you can do, you can actually invite people to your uh, product board team. If you are someone who is creating it, if you're a user, you can actually skip this step. Now, I'm not going to add anyone here, but I can do that, whatever. invite okay what type will you do product management my whole company next and here we are going to set up the product board you can have feature idea youtube channel so you can see the features board on the right side. Let's go YouTube channel two, and I'm going to leave it like it is. Now, how do you want to view your features? Here are some handpicked roadmaps for you. Feature timeline row, roadmap, plan when you'll be working on features and track progress against date-based milestones. Sprint, sprint, plan your delivery over multiple sprints and keep your dev team informed of what's coming next or Kanban so you can have plan and share your near team delivery plans without committing to exact dates so again you can choose which one you want so let's say I'm going with the, with the Kanban roadmap you can choose yours of course okay and as you can see now we have the YouTube channel YouTube channel 2 and sample feature so let's say these are the channels that we want to like put out. Okay, okay. So this is where is the roadmap of our uh, like ideas that we want to fulfill. So let's go on the top left to home, what we can find here. So you see the quick start guide here. You can organize, plan and prioritize your future ideas. That's right here. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. See, uh, you're going to have the values here, effort, value, effort score. Of course, you can edit all of these. Now you see the component, which are those things that I want to fulfill. And this is just like ideas, right? And this is also you can find a time frame in your features and then you're gonna have also the sprint here releases on the right side you're gonna find also drivers and scores releases tasks and misc so let's say driver and scores then we can like have releases here sprint one sprint two and tasks that I can search or I can add a new task field on the bottom as you can see now, this is pretty much it what you can do in the futures, but we will get to it. I want to go first through the home button, right? Build a delivery plan roadmap for your product team. Okay, okay. So you see the roadmap here. 
and this is where is the roadmap this these are the features and this is home so in roadmap what i can do i can go with the sprint roadmap kanban and you can simply switch between them see of your own you can even create your own roadmap and you are going to have option with the sprint monthly or if it's a release plan by version and you're going to have always a text around about it right release plan by versions and you're going to have everything what you need here kanban roadmap release column status column release timeline so everything you see you will get here now when we go in home you can have also invite colleagues and that's when I'm going to home. Members on the bottom left. And here I can invite people, invite members here to work with me. So this is where you can do it. Now integrate uh, with delivery tools like Jira. So you can all Jira. You can even also like combine it and integrate it. So now we are going to inter, in, like add a feedback. Okay. So here, these are the essentials that we were talking about. I'm going to back uh, to them in a minute. I just want to show you the pro feedback. Connect customer feedback to features, validate features ideas with customers. So someone is going to uh, like have a question and you can connect it with like Zapier with the Slack and with, with even other tools here. And when you have it, you're going to find all of these here. Then you're going to have also scale objective and I'm going to explore it too. So as you can see, these are the objectives on the right side. We're going to have much more stuff as you can see. So objective drive ongoing user engagement, help users perform job X, increase new user adoption. And you have option to, you can help users perform job X and you can really play around it and you can even add a new objectives. So this is how it works here. Now, when you see here, we have segments here, enterprises, top customers. Then we have users here, companies, those objectives. I can add a new objective. And again, the name, I can add a description about a team, time frame, progress, how much work was already done. Then drivers and scores. I can have like the drivers and prioritization score formulas that I can add. So there are like plenty of stuff and I'm not going to talk. This would be like two hours video. So let me down in the comments, guys. What do you want me to teach you? And I'm really happy to do that. Like if you want to go with a pro feedback or scale objective and I will be focusing on that. Now. When I come here and I want to show you again those features, how it actually works, so you can easily play around it, close it up, then you're gonna have always uh, the detail. You can add attachments, dependencies. Then also progress manual, if it's going to be like, let's say 30%. And then also uh, sub features here so save you and this is why how we would have the first one and i can simply click on whatever component i have here and what i can do i can simply add a component on the bottom left add a product import features see or add a feature for sunway i can click plus new feature what I can do then also is to simply click plus here and add a product. See, and this is how simple you can do it. It's nothing really difficult or hard.
So yeah, then the roadmap, as I mentioned, is also really similar. You just like click here for, uh, let's say, I want to go with the Kanban roadmap and you can simply move between candidate, plant and in progress. And I can go even further. So let's say this is going to be released. You can even edit, remove from roadmap. You can edit the roadmap, right? So you're gonna have swim lanes, swim lanes, then features grouped under objectives, hierarchy, feature attributes, dependencies, visualization, progress. You can feature it. See, and you see the progress right here. And this is pretty much it how it works. And you can even add new feature. See, here I got it. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it and how we can use it. It's an introduction video to a product board. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.